Windpay Fantasy Novels presents Stellar Transformations, Zing Ken Bian. Author Aik Tomatoes, Wo Chi Shi Hong Shi, Translators He Man, Rai Lane, Thunderhill. Please support the author in the link below. Book 5 The Blood Dread Cave. Chapter 1 Drifting. Gin Yu and Xiao Wei fly south extremely fast, leaving cities, mountain ranges, prairies and lakes on the ground behind them one after another. A huge forest then appears before they rise out of the blue. Xiao Wei, come down with me. Kinya suddenly uses holy sense communication. Xiao Wei immediately stops flying and asks doubtfully, Big brother, now we shouldn't be far from the southern waters of the Kian Long continent. Why do you want to go into this forest instead of keeping flying? He does not understand what Kinyu wants to do. Ha ha, you don't understand this, right? Smiling broadly, Kinyu explains, do you know the distance between the overseas immortal islands and the Kian Long continent? I don't know, but it shouldn't be very long. Xi Awe looks doubtfully at Kinyu. He still does not understand what the distance between the overseas immortal islands and the Kian Long continent has to do with Kinyu going into this forest exactly. Kinyu says with a smile, let me tell you, the nearest overseas immortal island is 100 odd thousand li from here, and the Penglai immortal region is even millions of li away. The enormousness of this ocean is basically not something you can imagine. Since the distance is so long, if we always fly on the ocean, it'll be very boring. Big brother, what do you mean? Xi Awe suddenly understands a bit. Let's make a large ship and put it in the spatial ring. While wandering on the ocean, when we are bored, we'll take it out and fish, or sunbathe, or enjoy the ocean's winds on it. Flying all the time will be boring, right? Ginyu wants to make good preparations for a long term wandering. As a Xuznast, his lifespan is almost limitless, thus, he does not care about his time. And drifting on the ocean experiencing adventures is also a form of practice. Xi Awe becomes excited at once, very good. Since this forest is so big, there must be huge trees here. Let's find some quickly. After saying, he simply does not wait for Kinyu and dives down into the immense forest himself. Kinyu also dives down with a smile. After entering this enormous forest, he and Xi Awe discover that it has no traces of human presence and is thickly grassed over and wooded. Obviously this forest is a very ancient one. Kinyu and Xi Awe go through the forest extremely fast not worrying about its so-called wild beasts in the slightest. They only need to send out their auras a little and none of those wild beasts will dare to approach them. Ah, there's a very thick red wood over there, Xi Awe suddenly says using his holy sense. Ginyu has also quickly detected the red wood, which is about 10 odd meters in diameter and can be considered relatively large in this ancient forest. But he says with a sigh, too bad, there were so many big trees in the wilderness, but we never thought about chopping down one to make a ship. There were no traces of human presence in the wilderness for millions of years so those ancient trees had reached 70 to 80 meters in diameter, and there were even some trees whose diameters had reached 100 meters, which was simply very astonishing. This is the first ancient forest that Kinyu and Xiaowei have gone into since leaving the wilderness, but even so those trees that have reached 100 meters in diameter are nowhere to be seen. Big brother, this forest is still within the boundaries of the three big kingdoms. Even though there are no traces of human presence here, some Xianxian experts could have gone through it. Those extremely large trees are treasures so they must have been chopped down long ago. Xi Awe says powerlessly. Kinya however is not willing to stop searching. A tree that is 10 odd meters in diameter is not small, but it is still far from what he wants. 
this forest is also very large. Let's keep going through it to find a bigger tree. Kinyu makes a decision. Xiaowei does not object to it and continues to fly extremely fast with him. As this man and this eagle travel, they use their holy senses to search carefully for an even larger tree. There are only a few Xuzanists on the whole Kian Long continent so it is extremely rare to see Xuzanists who use their holy senses in search of a tree like this. In a short, while Kinyu and Xiaowei have already covered 100 li, during which the largest tree Kinyu has been able to detect was only about 20 meters in diameter. He and Xiaowei therefore keep searching to them. Going 700 to 800 li across this forest is not considered far at all. Ah, Xiaowei, there's an exceptionally large tree 6 kilometers ahead of us. Kinyu becomes excited. An exceptionally large tree? How large is it? Xiaowei is also surprised. How large must that tree be to be able to amaze and excite Kinyu? This forest is not one in the wilderness, so. Even if there is a bigger tree, how large can it be? In only a short while, Kinyu and Xiaowe have already come close to that big tree. Wow, it's like a huge wall. Xiaowe says in amazement using his holy sense. Kinyu's face is also full of excitement. This dark red old tree is surrounded by sinuous branches and looks as if it is carved out of rock. Obviously it is extremely hard. The diameter of this old tree is even more shocking, about 50 meters, which makes the tree look like a wall. Even though it cannot compare with some old trees in the wilderness, a tree like this is still extremely difficult to come by outside the wilderness. Good, let it be this tree. It's already thick enough. Kin you nods in satisfaction. The flaming sword then immediately flies out from his body and sends forth an indistinct and extremely long stream of stellar energy. This stream of stellar sword energy is ten odd meters long. Even though the old tree is extremely hard, it is still far from being able to withstand the sword energy. Kinya smilingly points with a hand and the flaming sword instantly cuts through the tree's base. It is fifty meters in diameter but, under the power of the sword energy, it is cut off completely in just a moment. Afterwards, the huge tree falls with a loud noise, knocking down several tens of the large trees. The stellar sword energy easily removes the branches of the tree. This old tree is 300 to 400 meters in length but an overly long tree is useless to Kinya so he cuts away the 200 meters long part of the trunk that is thickest. He then starts making a ship carefully. The way he makes the ship is very simple. First he slices off all of the tree bark, leaving a smooth tree trunk. Having seen ships before, he cuts the trunk in half and casually picks out one part. He then carves a hole that is 30 meters wide and 80 meters long into it. This is the place to sleep and rest. Ha ha, with some casual defensive restrictive spells, this ship will be stronger than some large ships in defense. Kinya laughingly sets up some defensive restrictive spells on the ship. He believes that it will not fall to pieces even when facing a hurricane. Xiaowe spits out his holy all and uses it to carve some simple patterns on the ship as decorations. A ship has been created so simply. Well, very good, very not bad. Xiaowe looks at his carvings very satisfactorily. Ginyu grabs this quickly made ship. With a thought, he sucks it into his spatial ring directly. Only his Mengwen ring can contain such a large ship. As for that storage bracelet, its space is too small. Xiaowei, let's go. Kinya laughs out loud and soars into the sky directly. Xiaowei also flies upright after him. Having created a large ship, they are very excited. 
making something personally step by step feels totally different from buying something. They immediately accelerate. Kinyu is standing on the flaming sword while Xi Awe has also sped up by several times. Even though Kinyu is not using the body weapon unification technique and Xi Awe is not using the passing lightning flashing nine times, their speeds are still extremely fast. After a half day, they finally reach the southern waters of the Kian Long continent. Two beams of light land on the seashore and turn into a man and an eagle. As they take a look at the endless ocean, they cannot help feeling an intense pleasure. The blue ocean is refracting the sunlight into various colors such as azure and light purple, looking really very beautiful. Ah, compared to this area of water, the Kian Long continent is really nothing. The difference in size between them is too great. Ginyu cannot help saying emotionally while looking at the boundless ocean. At first sight, the ocean seems to be very calm, but who knows how many undercurrents are surging in its depths, how many demonic beasts exist in it, and how many immortal islands and devil islands there are in the distance. Xiaowe is very excited as well, wow, Xiuxianists, Xumoists, all kinds of demonic beasts, and perhaps some treasures too, even imagining them alone makes me excited. Big brother, don't think too much, let's go. After saying, he spreads his wings and flies straight towards the boundless ocean. Ginyu gives a laugh. A heroic spirit surges uncontrollably in his heart. The boundless ocean, this is the world of Xusanists. His body also rushes towards the endless ocean like lightning. A child who is collecting shells on the beach watches a man and an eagle fly towards the boundless ocean in stupefaction. After just a moment, this man and this eagle disappear from the horizon. Well, my eyes must have been dazzled. How can a human fly? And even fly so fast? The child rubs his eyes then looks around carefully. But his surroundings are still quiet as if that man and that eagle have never appeared. Well, looks like my eyes were really dazzled. The child laughs then continues to play with those shells. Today, Ginyu, the Kian Long continent's unprecedented genius, who is comparable to a late Jindan stage expert at the age of only twenty, the younger brother of the newly established Kin Dynasty's emperor, Prince Yu of the Kin Dynasty, has left the Kian Long continent this way. In the last 20 years, he has helped the Kin clan exterminate the Xiang clan, unify the Chu kingdom and create the Kin dynasty. A Xuzanist has an almost limitless lifespan so 20 years is just like a blink of an eye. What is going to happen to him in the several decades, several centuries and several millennia afterwards? Dot. In the boundless ocean. Ha ha, it feels so good. Kinyu is going by treading on the surging waves, brandishing his hands between them. He is currently wearing the clothes that Lei Wei forged in the past, with a pair of pants on the lower half of his body and only a black sleeveless undershirt on his upper body. The muscles of his body's upper half totally stand out. At the moment, Kinyu is full of vitality. He is treading the waves freely, looking wild like a sea god. Ha! Ah, he suddenly makes a wave of his hand. Many huge streams of water unexpectedly start to move around his body like the energy streams that appeared when he was practicing the Trans Heaven Three diagrams in the past. However these water streams are ten times thicker than the energy streams before and the area encircled by them is also ten times larger. With the water streams moving around his body, Kinyu is expressing his feelings wantonly. All of a sudden he reaches out a hand and a big fish that weighs ten odd gin floats up. Using only telekinesis, he has caught a big fist just like that. Xiao Wei, prepare to roast fish. He says laughingly to Xiao Wei in the sky. Then, with a wave of his hand, 
a huge object suddenly appears on the surface of the ocean. It is none other than their large wooden ship, which is 200 meters long and is 50 meters wide. Defensive restrictive spells have been set up on this ship so perhaps not even one of the three big kingdoms ships can compare with it in defense. Roast fish, wow, very good. Xiaowei dives down and lands directly on the deck. With a jump, Kinyu immediately gets on board from the ocean's surface. He then goes directly into the center of the ship. This ship's cabin is 30 meters wide, 80 meters long and 10 meters deep. There are many things in the cabin such as waterbeds, a grill, fishing rods, and so on, which have been taken out from the mountain house. When wandering the universe Leiwei enjoyed himself a lot so he naturally had these things. Ginyu therefore has put them in the cabin of this ship. This grill master setup is really. Ginyu keeps praising highly. To be exact, this grill is similar to an 8 diagrams furnace that is used to forge weapons. It is even much more complex than an 8 diagrams furnace. If the stellar flame is used to roast ordinary foods directly, the foods will definitely be burnt to ashes, and therefore this special grill was made. Its various restrictive spells can alter the strength of the stellar flame to achieve a suitable temperature. Big Brother, frankly, the Kian Long Continent's spices are much inferior to the many spices your master left behind. Xi Awei says to Kin Yu while staring at the fish that is being roasted in the grill with glittering eyes. Kin Yu has to admit this point. Lei Wei indeed had many spices, some of which were even mixed up by him personally. Many foods taste much better when those spices are added to them. The fat of the roast fish comes out all over. Xiaowei is about to drool, but he must wait until the optimal temperature is attained. All right. Ginyu cuts the fish in half directly. He and Xiaowei each take a half of this ten odd jin big fish then start to eat it very happily. They eat up such a large fish but their stomachs do not change at all. Suddenly dash. The ship shakes. What's going on? Ginyu immediately makes a sweep using his holy sense. He then bursts out laughing, these sharks unexpectedly want to destroy my ship. Too bad, it's very hard. With defensive restrictive spells set up on it, this ship is really not something that these sharks can destroy. He suddenly gives a smile, but you have to pay a price for hitting my ship. Like an eagle with spread wings, he immediately flies out of the cabin. Making a push against the deck using his feet, he dives into the ocean. There are several tens sharks around the ship at the moment. Ginyu quickly detects the leader of these sharks. With a jump he gets on this shark and grabs its fin directly. Feeling that someone is sitting on it, the shark starts to move like crazy at once alternating between swimming underwater and jumping into the air. Behave. Ginyu exerts the strength of his legs, pressing the shark to the point where it begins to cry miserably. At the same time, his stellar energy rushes through the shark's entire body. Feeling that Ginyu is formidable, the shark stops resisting in an instant. This is good. Go ahead for me. Kinyu rides the leading shark forwards. The other sharks follow him on one side. Xiaowei also steers the ship to follow him on one side. Under Kinyu's control, this shiver of sharks continuously goes south. Xiaowei then starts to fish. After all, roast fish taste really very good. End of chapter 1 Thanks for listening. If you like the video please press like and subscribe for more. 
Don't forget to support the original author so we can enjoy more of their books. See you in the next video. Love and peace. Windpay.